celebrity restaurant. There are tons of celebrity restaurants all around the world, but there's no place that has more than Las Vegas. I'm on a mission to find out which celebrity has the best restaurant. And some may say I'm a tough critic. So let's head to the first restaurant at Guy Fieri's. My goal for today is to find out which celebrity has the best restaurant. And all of these restaurants were really difficult to get into, so I had to make the reservations years in advance. So let's head into the first restaurant. Okay, the menu here is literally huge. I'm definitely gonna be stepping into Flavor Town today. Two of the most popular items on the menu are the trash can nachos and the say cheese mac and cheese burger. Now I'm definitely a little nervous for the trash can nachos because I hope they're not coming out of an actual trash can. And I'm also nervous for the hamburger because this is only our first place and I already have to eat meat. Whoa. Oh my god. These just came out of a trash can. Wow. So right in front of us, we have the two most popular items on the menu here. The trash can nachos, mac and cheese burger. Both of these meals are literally massive. If we're starting off with meals this big, I don't know how I'm gonna have room in my stomach for the rest of the meals. All right, we're gonna start off with the dumpster nachos. Now, by the looks of it, there is every single thing that you can think of on this plate. I see cilantro, jalapenos, meat, cheese, radish. You get it, there's a bunch of crap on here. Let's try a nacho. Is there barbecue sauce on this? Not sure how I feel about the trash can nachos. They do live up to its name. There's definitely a lot of flavor, so maybe we are in Flavor Town. So this is the mac and cheese burger. I feel like this might be the most difficult burger to eat. I feel like when it comes to a hamburger, they should be wider instead of taller because how am I supposed to eat this? I'm gonna try to like squish it down. Oh my God. Okay, this is the hamburger compared to my head. Okay, I'm just gonna try to eat this, I guess. Three, two. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. We're gonna cut it because I feel like I didn't get a good enough bite and we want the whole experience here. This is starting to look like the trash can nachos. <laughs> this is a mess. Are we or are we not in Flavor Town? We most definitely are in Flavor Town with the mac and cheese burger and the trash can nachos. Now, did I love them? Yeah. But are we in Flavor Town? Hell yes, we are. Guy Fieri was a little shy, but I did manage to get this picture with him. The next restaurant we're heading to is owned by the cake boss Buddy V. He makes some of the coolest cakes I've ever seen. Which is why he's qualified to open an Italian restaurant. I like some of Buddy V's cakes, but he's not gonna fool me. So today we're gonna find out the truth and see if Buddy V's food is actually food or if it's cake. Some of the most popular items on the menu are grandma's meatballs, the grilled salmon, and the Toscano salad. Okay, so grandma's meatballs came out before anything else, and you know what? I just don't trust something called grandma's meatballs. I mean, I have a grandma, and I love her, but she lies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna rate these using a scale of cake or not cake. And if none of these are cake, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Okay, these meatballs are definitely not cake. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed, but we have two more food items coming out, so there's still time. I'm trying to find out if Buddy V is a fraud. His thing is cake, and this is not cake. Next up, we have the Toscano salad. Now, if you ask me, this is most definitely cake. Like, you cannot change my mind about this. But there's only one way to find out. Let's see. That's not cake. Okay, so the salad is not cake. It's just a salad, but it's not bad. I'm giving this a seven. Minus three points because this looks like a scab. My track record has not been good so far. The last two items I thought were cake and they were not. So this is the salmon. And I actually think it is just salmon. Well, let's try it. Oh yeah, this is salmon. But you know, maybe it just looks like salmon, but when you taste it, it's actually cake. Let's see. It's salmon. Definitely not cake. All right, so that was Buddy V's. Now we're gonna walk to get some of his famous cake, which happens to be right here. As we were getting B-roll of the cake, I forgot that my mic was still on. This is what the camera picked up. Oh, please don't make me eat any more food. I'm so full. I'm waiting in line to order cake. Kind of like getting fast food cake. I kind of like it. I'm literally about to eat cake out of a bag. Ugh. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. If it's not good, I'm gonna tell you. Here we go. You did good, buddy. Let's go to the next place. The hardest part of this challenge was finding the restaurants in these massive hotels. We have no idea where we're going. Every single restaurant we've been trying to get to, we can't find. I think we're close though. I can I can feel the, the good vibes. We're literally about to miss our next reservation. We've passed so many Fat Tuesdays. If we were looking for a Fat Tuesday, we would have found six already. The Bedford by Martha Stewart. The restaurant is designed to mimic Martha Stewart's country farmhouse. And if Snoop Dogg likes it as much as he says he does, then looks like I'm going to a farmhouse. The Bedford by Martha Stewart is actually one of the more unique celebrities 
70 restaurants that we're going to. And that is because it's split up into three sections. Martha's living room, Martha's kitchen, and Martha's iconic dining room. So Snoop Dogg, I see why you like this place. Some of the most popular items on the menu are the Martha Teeny, Martha's smashed baked potatoes, and Big Martha's Pierogies, or however you say it. Do all of the items on the menu have her name in it? If I had my own restaurant, I'd probably do the same thing. The Lexi lemonade, it's not bad. Now when they called it a smashed potato, I didn't think they meant literally. She straight up smashed it right in front of us. So it lives up to its name. Martha Teeny, here we go. Damn, Martha, that is strong. Okay, so these are the porgies. I'm pretty sure I'm saying the name differently every time. All right, here we go. This is so good. No, this is actually like one of the best things I've had. On a scale of one to Snoop Dogg, this is a Snoop Dogg. Digo double G. And here we have the potato. Now, the lady smashed it right in front of my eye. It's fresh. It's filled with a bunch of stuff in here. It smells insane. There is nothing left to do but give this a try. Here we go. You know when dads like their food and they go like this? This is so good, you guys. Martha, if you're watching this, you can smash my potatoes. That sounded really weird. Forget I said anything. La da 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 da. It's the mother Digo double G soup dog. This is probably my favorite restaurant so far. I didn't get to meet Martha, but I did manage to get this photo of her. Our next restaurant is the Sinatra Italian restaurant, and it's inspired by Frank Sinatra's favorite Italian dishes. And for those of you who don't know who Frank Sinatra is, he was one of the most popular entertainers of his time. So let's head inside and see what Frank liked to eat. So apparently Frank Sinatra's favorite meal was veal, which is a baby cow. So we're not gonna be ordering that today. Instead, we're gonna be ordering his second favorite meal, which was spaghetti and clams. You know, one time I tripped over a clam, and I think I pulled a muscle. Okay, here we have one of Frank Sinatra's favorite meals, spaghetti and clams. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared to try this. Okay, we're gonna start with the clam. Please don't eat me! Please! Too bad. This is for Frank. Okay, that's pretty good. New York! The clams are really good, but underneath all these clams is some pasta, so let's give the pasta a try. Wow, that's good. And we're gonna chase it all down with some of my favorite wine. On a scale of one to Sinatra, I'm gonna give the spaghetti and clams an eight. The food did take a little bit longer to come out and I have another reservation to get to. Hopefully I make it to the next restaurant on time because each restaurant has a $50 cancellation fee. So I have to finish this up and get to the next restaurant. We are at our final celebrity restaurant, Hell's Kitchen. This is arguably the most famous celebrity restaurant in the entire world. So let's head inside. So they were able to move our table closer to the kitchen because there was a hair near our last table, but that's okay, I'm still excited to eat here. <laughs> right when you walk into the restaurant, there's an option for you to buy merch. You can see all of the winners from the show, and if you're lucky, you get to meet Gordon. This restaurant is known for their lobster risotto, pan-seared scallops, and the infamous, most delectable menu item that Gordon has to offer, the Beef Wellington. Now I know what you're thinking, Lexi, you don't eat meat. Well, if anyone was gonna make me wanna eat meat again, it's Gordon, because we're cool now. I met him in the front. Our waitress mentioned that this is one of the coolest drinks that they had. It comes in this cool box, and it's called the Smoke on the Boulevard. Okay, here we go, ready? I'm scared. Oh, look at this drink. All right, let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. I didn't know that was alcohol. It's good. Okay, so all of our food just came out, and mind you, it came out in probably less than 10 minutes. Like, this was the fastest I've ever gotten my food, especially today. Gordon Ramsay must really put these chefs through hell. <laughs> So here we have the lobster risotto, the pan-seared scallop, the beef wellington, and I also got this sticky toffee pudding because apparently it's pretty popular. I'm just kidding, it's not popular, I just wanted it. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of lobster, but here we go. Damn! Now on a scale of bloody raw to 10, this gets a 10. Pan-seared scallop, let's see. I don't love scallops but I definitely like these. The sauce was good, the presentation was good, and a scale of bloody raw to 10, I'm giving them a seven. I literally think that the people here think I'm a food critic because I have like a camera, but like I'm literally just doing this for fun. So here it is, this is the most famous dish that Gordon Ramsay has to offer, the beef wellington. Here goes nothing. This is bloody amazing. On a scale of bloody raw to 10, it breaks my scale. This was actually really good. I understand the hype, I'm gonna give it a 10. For dessert, we have the sticky toffee pudding. This is apparently very famous and very good, but I'll be the judge of that. Oh my God, this is so good. I honestly think that we saved the best restaurant for last. This is so good. After visiting all of these restaurants, I learned a few things. No matter how many times you've gotten in trouble with the law, you can still make a great restaurant. So compliments to all the chefs.